Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. In this video, let me explain how to upgrade our Angular application into Angular 18. For doing this upgrade, let me go to the Angular update gate. If you searched in this Google like Angular update gate, you will get the link and also I have included in our video description. Okay. So here we have to choose the from version, uh, defaultly it is 17, add then to defaultly it is choose to the latest version okay so in case your application developed in the lower version like angular 16 then you have to choose similarly you can change the two version also okay for in this video i am having one angular application that developed in angular 16 that i am going to upgrade into angular 18 so this is not a basic application there i have done the basic redactions uh, using ngrx and also i have used the material UI packages okay First, let me show you the application. So you can see in these packages, it is Angular 16 and our application also in the running mode. Okay. So the records are loaded. I am able to do the update. Okay. Everything is working fine. So next we have to start the upgrade. So before that, let me go to the guide once again. So our from version is Angular 16 and the two version is Angular 18. Okay. So now we are getting one warning. So that says we cannot directly execute this ng update query for doing this upgrade for more than one major version at a time. So that means we cannot directly upgrade our Angular application from 16 to 18. We should upgrade our application from 16 to 17. Then we have to do 16 to 18 that is the procedure okay and you may have one doubt so if you created a new application in angular 17 and angular 18 so you can see the default template is standalone template but from this angular 16 you have the model based template only okay but while doing this upgrade whether it's going to affect anything definitely no the angular introduced the standalone template from this angular 17 at the same time they are providing the support for model based template also okay so so anyway i choose to the from version is 16 and the two version is 17 okay so then this application complexity we can use this basic and i am having this material ui so let me click show me how to update so here we have the steps we need to do one by one so here i am just classifying into two important things we need to keep in our mind the first thing is we should have the proper uh, environmental setup and the second thing is we have to see there is any duplicated items okay mostly ng update command will resolve most of the issues if something is breaking we have to work manually okay so first for the environmental setup point of view, we need to look at the Node.js, okay? So if you are upgrading this into 17, this 18.13 is fine. For the Angular 18, we should have the 18.19. In case if you have the lower version, make sure you have to update your Node.js, okay? From my side, already I have done this setup. See my Node version is 22, okay? And the second thing is this uh, TypeScript for Angular 18, we should have a 5.4 or a latest. So in this case, we no need to execute any command. Once we executing our ng update command, it will update automatically. So finally, we have to upgrade our global Angular CLI. So this is the command. If you execute it, it will update automatically. So in case if you are facing any issue, Make sure you have to use this uninstall command. It will uninstall your global Angular CLI. Then you execute this command. It will install the latest version. That means Angular 18. So I have done the steps already. See my Angular CLI is 18.0. Okay. So the next thing is we have to execute this update command. So let me copy this one. So application in running mode, uh, then we can stop this one, okay? So I will include all the respective commands in our description. So it's saying we have some changes, make sure you have to commit. Okay, the commit is fine. Next, executing the same command. 
see some of the supporting packages also upgraded this animation common compiler these are the core libraries so the first level of update and migration is completed we can review the changes from our angular json this uh, browser target is changed into build target okay and next in our package.json see most of the core libraries are upgraded into angular 17 see this animation common compiler core forms then this router and then we have to upgrade this angular cdk material ui and this ngrx related libraries okay first we can upgrade the cdk and material so before that let me commit these changes okay I'm having the commands again the same ng update then we have to provide the library name with the version okay so let me execute them okay the packages are updated uh, now the migration in progress okay the migration point of view in this material UI side there is no change okay and in this CDK side also there is no changes so again we can review the changes so it is just upgraded our cdk and material UI into angular 17. so the next thing is uh, we got to upgrade our ngrx related files so again i am just committing the changes and for the update command okay for the ngrx point of view i am having the packages store router store fx and store dev tools okay so that's what i'm going to update those libraries so additionally if you are uh, using any external packages also those are supporting for angular 17 then make sure you have to update into the respective versions okay see the dependency is updated in our package.json okay the update is completed again we can review the changes so the libraries are updated into angular 17 and in our app.model some changes are included okay so finally i am executing this npm install command if there is any dependency issue it will tell you then we have to upgrade the particular library also okay okay now in our case uh, some vulnerabilities are there other than that there is no error so let me run the application and we can verify whether we are getting the same output because the upgrade point of view we have upgraded all the libraries but make sure we have to confirm the functionality also working fine or not okay application ran without any error see the application is loading so in case if I'm doing one edit okay it is working fine so now we have completed the first level okay so we upgraded our angular application into angular 17 so next I am going to upgrade this application into 18 okay so the steps are same now the framework is 17 and the updated version is 18 see the steps so the first one is node.js anyway we have the latest version 22 it's fine then we have to execute this ng update command okay so here we can see this core and cli uh, we can upgrade this material ui and cdk also in the single shot let me prepare the query okay and the other two packages one is material ui at and another one is cdk so let me copy this command so parallelly just committing these existing changes and I start this running application and executing these commands so again it will update our packages 
and also make sure it will do the migration activities okay see first of all it is updated in our package json with the version 18.0 so next it will install the respective packages also in our application okay it's saying select the migration that you do like to run So if you choose the space, it will ask for the selection. So in our case, we can just click this enter button, okay? Okay, the update is completed. Uh, the most of the packages are upgraded into Angular 18, except this NGRX libraries. And from our app.model, we can see some of the changes. So we can see in this provider side, this provide HTTP client included and this with the interceptors from DE that also included and this HTTP client model is removed. Okay, so instead of that only this provider is included. So in our uh, standalone template also, uh, we will use the same provider only. Provide HTTP client and there we will use the with interceptors, okay only difference is here we can see from DA and then our app component is bootstrapped other than that I don't think any new changes so finally we can execute our ngrx update commands also so let me commit this one then executing this command okay the updates are completed again we can review the changes okay the ngrx libraries are uh, upgraded from angular 17 to angular 18 additionally it is installed one more package ngrx operator okay so next in our app.model this item is included and in our app effect side we have some unwanted changes that we can remove so let me undo these changes okay so similarly in our associate effect also so next let me execute our npm install command we have a warning there is uh, some vulnerability item so other than that there is no issue okay so let me run this application and we can verify whether our functionality also working fine okay application running without any error Our grid also loaded. We can verify this update functionality. And it's changing level into level 3. Okay, updated. Same way if I'm trying to remove the remove functionality also working fine. So we can see our package file. Let's see. It's completely in Angular 18. Okay. So in our case, we executed our commands, it's executed successfully, there is no error, okay. So in our case, also we can expect the same, but in case if you are facing any error, so like it may due to the dependency library, okay. In this case, we have to choose the dependent library. First, we need to upgrade the dependent library. So after that, we have to execute our normal libraries, okay. So mostly the core library is not going to make any issue but the additional packages that may included in our application so there we can expect some error okay anyway we have successfully upgraded our application into angular 18 so still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching